And we are speaking to my friend Ant Chawadi. Sudrawi. Sudrawi. Cut. Cut. We're going to have to do that. The second time. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we. is that how yes. you pronounce it? Oh. What did I say? Sudrawi. Sudrawi. Come again, Sudrawi. <laughs> Speak to Ant. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, welcome <laughs> to the hub rooms. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're speaking to Ant. He'll pronounce his surname himself. He's Lebanese. <laughs> <laughs> Please give your surname. Shidrawi. Shidrawi. Big word. <laughs> yeah. I like that. So early in the morning. Um, Ant is the owner, prior, prior pr proprietor. Another big word. Gosh, so early in the morning. I think we should have done this in the afternoon. Anyhow, Ant owns the hub, which is pretty much the center of our universe. Now, you can come to the hub with a broken computer, uh, with period pains, whatever it is, Ant will attend to it. He's not a gynecologist, but he'll have a look. Um, Ant can also <laughs> fix computers. Well, so he thinks. He'll destroy your computer, but he'll never say, I can't fix it. I've sat here with Ant trying to do things, and it's amazing what this man can do. He is actually very talented. Um, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to put Ant on the spot because, you know, people think they know Ant. Um, but they don't know Ant like I know Ant. I've done some homework. And, um, yeah, this, this man is interesting. I'm going to give you ten questions. Okay. Okay? Now, you don't have to answer. If, if you're uncomfortable with it, don't answer. I'm okay with that. Um, how many women have you slept with? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I see. Mm. Um, but I have done my homework. And, uh, <laughs> um, right, we'll leave that one then. Um, That's way out. Do, do, you, do you eat offal? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you would. <laughs> Are you a card counter? No. Mm. Uh. <laughs> we'll leave that one then. Um, have you ever been arrested? <laughs> I'll leave that one. I see we're doing well with the 10 questions here. This man has got a lot <laughs> dodgy. <laughs> What's your pet hate, Ant, other than myself? Awkward, I don't know. Another what, what is my pet hate? I don't well, know. Well, awkward is my, my, my thing, so if it's awkward to say... My pet hate is, well, I don't I've know. I've got no more flashcards, so you better come up with an answer. I don't have a pet hate. You don't have one. Um, are you religious? No. Politically inclined? A little bit. Gee! That's, that's putting it mildly. Um, and your favorite song? Probably um, Penny Lane, The Beatles, or Golden Slumber, The Beatles. Ah, we're on the same page, yeah. Or um, some Rolling Stones, Wild Horses, maybe. Like it. Okay. So, Ant, let's start from the beginning. Okay. Now, I, I had a chat to you the other night, yes. and you had me in stitches. Let's, let's start off when you ta your family took the big... Um, leap because now you know and grew up in in Mayfair is that correct until I was it, 10 years it, old it, yeah then um, I think the family got an increase or something and they moved over the railway line they, they moved one spot up and that was at Rissafel Park right so now and now you must picture this and is from a, a Lebanese family the the, the brothers and the, the father, the boxers, need I say more. So Ant now, they move over to Rusef, from to Roosevelt Park, which is now the upper echelon. We've moved to the big town. Ant goes to school and he meets a, a guy there and they become friends. And this guy does ballet. So Ant, in his wisdom, he thought, well, I like this. He went with it, go and have a look at this ballet. Comes home that afternoon. And now picture this. Here's the family sitting, the father, I would imagine, in a, in a, in a vestie at the table having dinner. And the brothers around, they're all boxers with noses like this. 
<laughs> Ant is the only one with a bit of artistic flair there. <laughs> so Ant says, I would like to do ballet. Am I right? Kind of. And then uh, what did your father do? What, what did no, he buy well, you? Well, this is what it was. It wasn't at school. I met, it was my neighbor. We moved from Mayfair to Roosevelt Park. And my neighbor used to do ballet. And he, <laughs> he's a great ballerina today, Philip Boyd. He's, he's oh, really? so, so Philip took me to ballet one day to watch him do his ballet classes. I was uh, probably 10, Philip was 11 or 12. And, and I thought, well, that's cool. So I came home and I said to my dad, I want to do ballet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next day I got a karate suit. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end of his ballet career. <laughs> <It was. laughs> so, and yeah, it wasn't at school, it was my neighbor. Who was did, your neighbor? Uh, okay. Was the, but there was no Anki Panky. No. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Ant was a deep sea diver. Now, yeah. This is the man that has never been arrested. No, he's never been in a fight. He's a nice, clean liver. You want to do ballet, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> um, right, so you were also a deep-sea diver. Well, for a short while, yes. Yeah, and did you... Do they call it captain the ship or drive the ship? Or? No. No, you were just on it? I went under the water. But did you ever find a treasure? No. But you, you were a treasure diver? Yes. Not a successful one? No. Ah. Okay, but you got <laughs> lost at sea, am I right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you lost at sea? Uh, probably two weeks. Two. And this is Tinkham. I've seen the newspaper clippings. Um, they got lost at sea for two weeks. Uh, and, and how were you found? How, how did this come about? Well, we went looking for treasure. It was a ship called the Santiago, which sank in 15-something or 16-something in uh, the Mozambique Channel. It was Bassa de India. And we had heard of, uh, I think it was 15 million in gold bullion in those days. This is going to the early 80s. Yeah. So there was an ad in the paper. Uh, I think it was adventurous young people wanted for treasure hunt or something. So yeah, yeah. I applied. We all met at the Hillbrow swimming pool and there were hundreds of people there. And they chose 10 and I was one of them. Only and because you could do ballet as well. Yeah. Well, well, I couldn't do ballet. Couldn't do. Yeah. So that wasn't <laughs> your strong point. So yeah, that, that's, that's how it started. And then the, 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 the diving club went on to to treasure dives. To go look for this treasure, yes. So how come that you got lost? Who was well, we didn't get lost. We knew exactly where we were. We just had uh, engine failure. and In the middle of the ocean. In the middle of the ocean. Bad news. And the radios had packed up. It was a bit of a, a disaster because we salvaged the ship before we left uh, the yacht. It had come through from, um, from New Zealand. And it was wrecked in Maputo, and he drifted into Durban to fix his yacht. And he was offered some money to for the charter, and uh, he took it. And we chartered that boat, so we went out in a very dodgy in boat. In a dodgy boat. <laughs> but it was great. It was, uh, <laughs> well, so should we move on? Because also, yes, yes. I, I know you you denied the the, the card 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 counting. Yes. Um, but now let me tell you something about Ant. He's not a card counter, but you can name every, any song you like and he knows the lyrics off by heart. <laughs> any song you like. I've, I've yet to catch him out. You ask him, he'll, he'll recite the entire song. Um, but he's not a card counter. Mm. No? No. No? Can we move on? Can yes. But you, you were a professional gambler? No. I was, a, I was a blackjack player. You're a blackjack player, yeah. professional jack black player. But it wasn't gambling. But you had a lot of money. I used to have a lot of money. I don't have any money now. Okay, well, let me tell you something. Yeah. When I, I, I arrived here in Barrydale, this man told me that at one stage, he had so much money that he was putting it in Rice Krispie boxes. He made the most ingenious boxes and containers to hide his money. <laughs> and he, he made me... <laughs> And 
a key safe. Now, granted, we we were probably we had some some fun before time, before I got my gift, but it was very funny. It was a little bottle with weeds stuck on top, not weeds that you smoke, but just weeds. You open the bottle, this is Anne's theory, you open the bottle, you put your keys in there, you put the lid on, you dig a little hole next to your front door, you put the bottle there, so no one will know your keys are in that little bottle with a little weed on top. And that came from Anne's ideas of hiding money. He had all these ingenious ideas of Rice Krispie boxes and tins, every, everything in his kitchen contained money. Yeah. And today he owns the hub. So, what is the biggest amount you've ever won? <laughs> <laughs> in a day, in a year, I don't know. It's lots of money. Lots of, and how much have you lost? What's the biggest amount you've lost? You walked out of the casino and you thought, geez, this is the end of the world. Oh, well, it did. It, 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 it's hard to say because it's not, um, you don't look at it on the day. It's a long-term thing. You sound like an insurance so, salesman. Well, <laughs> it, it is long-term. So you've got to play. So you've got to get into the hours and play many, many thousands of hours to get into the long run. Right. So, so, so in a day you can, you can win today, you can lose tomorrow. But if you keep playing, you're playing with a small edge. So you should end up on top. Yeah. Well, most yeah. don't. Yeah, no, most won't because gambling isn't designed for you to win. Okay, <laughs> so we, we move on to art. Okay. Because this man has got talents like you. You have no idea. Um, every day he surprises me with something new that either his wisdom that he shares with me, and there's a lot of that. And art is another thing that is just amazing. You never planned to be an artist, like you never planned to be a ballerina or a ballet dancer. But art, he cracked it. Um, how did that start? That started in, gosh, I don't know, 2004. My mom died and I got a little box of paints and I started painting, playing with them, and I haven't stopped. The well, paints gonna, ran out, but I had to buy more. <laughs> but I'm still painting every day. We'll take a, a, a hike around the hub and you can have a look at some of these paintings. It, it is phenomenal. And every day, and if you go to his house, there are paintings everywhere. The house is littered with paintings, half, half done, some complete in the shop. Ant is forever painting. But yes, we'll uh, a little bit more about there's that a, later. There's a guest house here full of my paintings. Um, you will see if you go to my <laughs> website, you can see we've got a guest house, Karen and myself, and and decorated the, the, the guest house with his paintings. It is absolutely stunning. Every guest we've had there have commented on, on the paintings and the beautiful de decor. But um, what is your favorite medium? What, what, what sort of, if you had to pick a subject to paint? Well, I would paint normally oil, oil paints. Oil paints? Mm-hmm. And is it landscapes or... I sound like I know any, some, something about art, I it's, don't. It's but whatever tickles my fancy on the day. Normally I would see something and I like what I see, so I'll try and paint it. Yeah. It could be a picture, it could be someone walking the street, it could Brilliant. be something on the news. Yeah, yeah. no, it's varied. And as I say, we'll have a look at it in, in the shop and then you can form your own opinion. And if you want to buy paintings, this is a man to speak to. You, you want a commission done, Ant's your man. If you want deep side, di see, deep side diving, deep sea diving, Ant is your man. You still do that? No. No. no so the hub, now jokes aside, what is the hub? What, 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 what do you do? The hub is a, is a little internet cafe that just grew that up. grew like a cancer. Yes. And, and it's true, but you, but you don't do gynecology or anything like no. that. It is purely yes. um, art, any su art supplies, repairs, advice, you name it. Ant yes. has got it. Oh. Ant, Chiwadi, Shidrawi, Drashawi. Thank you so much. It has been unreal. Thank you.